Hey guys, it's me, Seren, back with another video. So this is the first video of the new year, first video of 2018. So happy new year, happy new month, January 1st, happy new week. It's Monday, even though technically Sunday is the first day of the week, but whatever. Happy new everything. Um, as you guys probably can tell, I was taking things uh, kind of slow the last week of the year. Um, my last video was on December 25th. Um, so it's been like a little bit of a break in between that video and this one. I did not stream yesterday, Sunday. Um, I was at a friend's house and it's funny because I thought about streaming from there, but it was just like a lot going on <laughs> and I was like, I don't know if I should like stream from here. So I didn't stream yesterday. We are going to stream this coming Sunday. Um, it's also Hidden Figures on Wednesday because I didn't do Hidden Figures last week. So um, after, you know, this video and then Hidden Figures and then streaming on Sunday, we'll kind of be like back, you know, back on our regular um, posting, uploading, whatever. Um, and I did not do an end of the year video because I kind of just wanted to make this video, which is a first of the year video, I guess, um, where I wanted to talk a little bit about value. Um, because the concept of value and how we assign it, how we assign value in a racist society, in a sexist, you know, society, a white supremacist society, a capitalist society, um, has been a really big theme for me uh, in 2007. It was a huge theme for me. Um, and if you guys read my work, um, since I write, I'm a contributing writer at Riot uh, Material, which is a literary website I write over at Nylon. You guys will see that, like, a lot of my writing recently has revolved kind of around value and just kind of examining like what gives a person, you know, value. Because it's like, again, like in a racist, white supremacist, sexist, capitalist society, whatever, it's like white privilege gives you value, you know, like being white gives you value. Like in a sexist society, you know, being a man gives you value. And in capitalist society, having capital, AKA money, gives you value, you know, being heteronormative, being able-bodied, you know, all these things on kind of the sliding scale, you know, um, of identity, as I like to think about it, are uh, just what kind of imbues you with value in this system. So that kind of just became a thing I could not stop thinking about in 2017. And heading into 2018, my question for myself and for all of you is, um, how do we assign ourselves with value and worth, you know, outside of the system, um, especially as black people, you know, what exists kind of outside of the system, like what exists outside of the system? How do we assign ourselves with value? Uh, and that also kind of goes in my feelings about respectability politics, which you guys know, like I hate fucking respectability politics. I don't like fuck your respectability politics. Um, wherein we kind of assign ourselves value by our, sorry, I'm writing something really quick, wherein we assign ourselves value, you know, by like our degrees um, and where we live and how we speak and how we dress and how we wear our hair and, you know, all that stuff. And it's like, if all that stuff disappeared tomorrow, how would we assign ourselves value, right? Like, what are our morals and ethics, right? Like, what do we believe? What is important? Um, and for me, asking myself those questions too, for me, it's just been a lot of thinking about how I just like hardcore <laughs> reject these systems. Like even the sweatshirt that I have on right now, I don't know if you guys can see it. It says oppose all authority, <laughs> oppose all authority. Um, Cause it's just like, you know, I oppose these fucking systems, I reject them because they try to tell me that I will never have value as a black person, I will never have value in a racist white supremacist society. As a woman, I will never have value in a sexist patriarchal society. Uh, as someone that's not fucking wealthy, I will never have value as a capitalist society. And for me, it's just like, fuck out of here, you know, like, fuck that. And I just really want to push myself 
in 2018 to eject from these systems and stand against them in any way possible, even if it's just, you know, not spending my money with fucking white-owned corporate conglomerates whenever and however I can, even if it's just something as small as, you know, like my tattoos. People ask me a lot about my tattoos, especially these new ones that I have on my fingers. Um, they say temperance. FYI, I don't really want to show them because they're really nasty right now and peeling and gross and horrible, but in probably about a week they're going to look super cool. Um, and temperance historically means uh, abstaining from drinking, which y'all niggas know I will have a drink. But in tarot, if you're into tarot, um, the temperance card represents Sagittarius, which is me, like I'm a Sag, and it also represents uh, patience and moderation and kind of just like trust and faith. And along that vein, my tattoos are like promises to me. They're like promises that I make to myself, especially these really visible ones. Um, promises that I'm not going to let anyone, any system, any person, anything, you know, tell me what to do or dictate my value to me. Like, you're not going to tell me that because I have these tattoos on my hands, that means something, you know. Because people go, oh, you take tattoos on your hands. And, like, I remember when I got this big one here. Oh, you're never going to be able to get a job. You're never going to work in an office. Da, 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 da. Like, well, number one, who the fuck says I even want to work in an office? Who says that having an office job is what's going to give me value? You know, like, again, like, we're getting into these ideas of, like, oh, you know, if you, if you do certain things, you can have more value. You can lessen it. You can make it more. And it's just, like, where is just, again, like, our value as, 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 as it relates to our morals and our ethics and the persons that we are outside of all these systems. So here's to a new year of knowing your value and discovering how worthy you are outside of all existing systems, especially as black people that are told repeatedly that our value lies in all this fucking crap, all this external fucking bullshit Let's eject from that this year, um, even if it's just in your mind and your way of thinking, you know, telling yourself, oh, this stupid ass job doesn't fucking give me value, like, ah, oh, this fucking whack ass shit isn't what gives me value, you know, whatever, you know, like, even if it's just, even if you can't, you know, you, we can't just, like, we do still live in a capitalist society, which I've talked about before, so we can't just be like, ah, oh, fuck this job, I quit, you know? So, but even if it's just in your mind knowing, like, this shit is not what fucking gives me value, you know, like, you, from me to you, whoever's watching, you are, like, an amazing fucking being, and you have value just as a black person walking around this society that was literally built to fucking destroy you. Like, you have value, you know, you have value. Um, and so just, like, let this be the year of, like, questioning what exists outside of the system and giving value to yourself and giving worth to yourself outside of this shit and ejecting from all of it however and wherever you can again even if it's just mentally and a quick addendum to kind of like go hand in hand with like the mental aspects of it if you haven't already like please like really let 2018 also be a year of self-care um pick up some self-care practices. Things can feel really fucking overwhelming and alarmist. And I felt like I saw a lot of that in 2017, just like constantly getting like bombarded, bombarded, bombarded with bullshit like every single day. Um, and I also think completely, well, not unrelated, but like so much of our media is like designed because like that's what generates clicks and like that's what generates money. That's what generates capital. That's what has value right so the media is gonna like generate all this not to say that it's like not real or not true necessarily but like alarm and like again like being constantly bombarded with bullshit is valued in the society because it generates clicks and capital and you need self-care practices for that you know like to deal with that um and again to kind of like fortify your mind and your mental health to be able to even deal with that shit you know, like, I fucking take baths. That's been, like, my thing for a while, which I never used to like. I mean, I, I, I take showers, but I call showers baths. I don't know if that's, like, a DC thing or just, like, a thing we say in my family. I say, like, take a bath, but I mean shower. But I started getting really into, like, taking baths. Like, I take long baths, and I, like, 
look at pictures of food on Instagram, <laughs> you know, like, and I like listen to music and I just like chill. So just like find your thing, whatever your thing is or whatever your thing is going to be. Find it, hopefully engage in some self-care practices because it really helps. Um, so yeah, 2018, what exists outside of the system? Um, know that you have value as a fucking black person. Again, just like the video that I made like way back when, you know, like black people are magic. Like the fact that we're even still here walking around, like you have fucking value outside of this shit, you know? So 2018, new year, new questions, new beginnings. Really excited to see what this year brings. Um, you know, all in all, I did have a really great 2017. A lot of really amazing things happened. I was able to fucking panel at Mecca Evers, which was amazing. Uh, I started um, writing more like personal essays, which has been a personal goal of mine for a while. And just a lot of cool things happened. So I'm looking forward to heading to 2018 with all of you guys. Uh, August will be the four year anniversary of the channel, which is amazing. We recently hit 32,000 subscribers, which is incredible. So hi, everyone new, hi, everyone old, everyone that's been uh, watching for a long time or not a long time. Hopefully you guys had um, a fun, safe, cool, chill, relaxing, however you wanted it to be heading into this new year. Hopefully it was that for you and I will see you guys next time. Food for thought as always. Peace.